Hey guys, Roddy here. Welcome to my uh, very first uh, Vox tutorial. A um, little bit of name playing there. Um, but I want to show you a solution to microvoxels actually deforming the floor. Um, I came up with a new technology that makes it possible for you to actually uh, place microvoxels on the floor without it deforming um, at all. So I made this nice chair that I'm going to use as an example today and I just put it in the air because I wanted to show you guys what actually happens when I take this chair and stick it on the floor. You can see at the bottom here it does a deformation and the floor is being pulled up towards the chair. Uh, when I'm done showing you this tutorial this chair will be standing on the floor uh, with no deformation to the floor whatsoever. So the way to do this is to create a mega voxel and out of that make a reactor. If you do not know how to create these mega voxels, uh, let me give you a quick demonstration. You place a micro voxel and this is just a normal voxel that I've smoothed with the smooth tool and I did it twice. And you bring it to the down ones, to the right ones and towards yourself ones. That will give you this string. Now you just go all the way around and you have to go two up again, go towards you and forward. So this is the easy way to make a mega voxel. So after we've created the uh, mega voxel and we have placed these four voxels here, you can do two things. You can take the line tool and you can use it to push in the sides of the um, mega voxels. And you can do it on both sides to make it have the exact same width as a normal voxel. You can also just do it on one side and that will give you a slightly different result as well. Um, I can take these now and copy them. Just give them a bit of a rotation. Stick it on the floor and there will be no deformations. If I take the selection tool, bring it under, you will see that there is nothing going on there. Now that I have this uh, flat um, mega voxel, I can create a reactor. I do that by placing these um, mega voxels in this pattern. Now what I need is um, some voxel filler. I just go. I'll teach you how to use uh, voxel filler if you do not know in another video. But if I take this and place it in the middle of this, you will get a little piece of string. And you can also take the other mega voxels here and just give them one rotation like that place them next to each other as you can see the difference between the two reactors is that this is a bit smaller or more narrow so let's go take another piece of voxel filling put it in there. So I can copy the center pieces here out and that will give me two different sizes of the um, the voxel string here that you can use to build any kind with and have a buffer zone between your furniture or any other thing you built and the floor without any deformation. And you can easily see that it has done nothing to the floor. The way I can use this now is I can go to my chair. If I go to the right spot, it should be there. I can place it in, put it over there. I can bring it all the way back. 
so just get in the right place, place it there. Now, as I showed you before, it deformed the floor. If I copy this chair now and place it on the ground, there is no more deformation. This chair is just sitting right flat on the floor as I intentionally in the start when I built it built the chair wanted it to do. Um, so that is what this new technology can do. You can use it for so many things. Um, we had a little discussion. I talked with uh, Schrodinger Cat and Mitesk, um, and we played around with it and came up with a little bit of list of useful things for this. Um, for example, for people that like doing inlays with microvoxel strings, it is now possible to make an entire new wall of sizes that are clean and precise uh, and you will know how to make them. Um, as of right now, you can only make seven different kinds of antivoxel string because you're using the smooth tool and this uh, technique is used uh, made without using the smooth tool um, after you have created the, um, the microvoxel. Um, the cool thing about this is the head, it has the same width of a microvoxel and it can be pasted on the floor without deformation as you see here. Um, any other microvoxel uh, that anyone has made can be pasted on top of it and it will adjust to that one. So basically it works as a buffer between your microvoxel wielding and the floor. So you get that without deformation. So I could actually take this microvoxel right here and I could put it on top of this guy and you will get this. Still no deformation. Um, we could take the smaller microvoxel here and I can put him, let's go back a few. So he will go up to this one and I can start just doing stuff just above this. Uh, go back here. I'm having problems actually seeing where I'm working here. So there we go. If I bring this down, you'll see the deformation over here. So here you have a really good example of the difference between the new voxel and the micro voxel. So you have it, I can show it easier with the uh, selection tool. On one side you've got no deformation, on the other you have the floor being ruined. So guys, that is um, a little new thing that you can start working with. You can use the line tool on all of these different shapes to make them even flatter. You can use it on all four sides of the uh, mega voxel to make different sizes of this voxel string thingy um, and yeah um, go play with it make some cool stuff and now you can finally place all your furniture I hope all of you guys will uh, find this new technique very very useful I know that I'm going to be fixing my uh, tiki bar here with uh, some of the strings to fix many of the deformations uh, thank you very much for watching this box tutorial and um, Till next time, see you guys, take care, bye bye.